Well, hello everybody, it's Tony from Redwood Empire RVs, and today we're talking some big news, and I'm talking big news. Uh, we have this brand new Cherokee Grey Wolf 294 bunkhouse, and it's a two-bedroom travel trailer. So there's actually privacy for the kids, or even in-laws, who knows what. So let's go take a tour. I uh, wanted to remind you that <clears throat> This video is about this specific trailer, but we may have others in stock that are similar. So I'll share the video on those pages too. Uh, look at our website, redwoodempirerv's.com to uh, get all the specifics on each individual model we have. We always take pictures of that trailer. We have the specific pricing and details. And of course, speaking of pricing as always, our prices include your propane and your battery and your walk around and testing by our techs and all the hoses and connectors you're gonna need. So no hidden surprises, no fees, no BS. We are just here with a good, honest, low prices and customer service. That's what they tell us on all of our reviews too. So anyway, let's go uh, check this out. It's pretty darn cool. And here we go up front, Cherokee Grey Wolf Limited 294 bunkhouse. We have got our power tongue jack here, your dual propane tanks, and of course you're going to get those filled up here at Redwood Empire RVs, that's part of the package. We'll also put a brand new battery there. Speaking of batteries, this does have a solar charge port right here, so you can add solar panels if you choose. Here's some nice storage under the bedroom, under the front bedroom. This has your manual stabilizer jacks, and I bring a little electric drill with me, makes putting those things down a snap. Uh, power awning, and there's an LED light strip underneath that, so those work out really well. They're very efficient, of course, but also lots of light. And like all the Cherokees, this comes with the Moride step above, super stable stairs nice grab handles and one of the things i really like about these cherokees they're not stickers here on the side but these are all painted sections so this trailer is going to be looking good good years from now it looks good today doesn't it look at that outdoor speakers led lights behind them you can mount your tv out here get a TV mount and bring the TV out and they provide all your connectors for that <clears throat> um, second door to the bathroom so if you want you're, let's say you're at the beach or something just want to step inside hit the bathroom real quick pay the rent on the beers or whatever you got just head right in from the outside now check out this outdoor kitchen ooh la la this is nice we have got our outdoor stovetop, two burner stovetop right here. Whoops. You've got your outdoor ice maker. Yeah, comes with that, outdoor ice maker. You've got a good size sink. Cabinets with hardwood doors and nice glass inserts. Oh, it looks really good. And this drawer, so put your outdoor cooking utensils and such in here. There's an outdoor propane hookup, so you can hook up your barbecue or stovetop. But check out that refrigerator. Holy smokes. I don't think I've ever seen an outdoor RV kitchen with a fridge like this. That is something, I mean, I could put like 50 beers in there. I'm sure you could probably also want to put groceries and stuff, but you know, you got to know what you got to do. That is a nice outdoor fridge. Okay, back here, you've got a luggage rack and you could put your generator there or your stuff, whatever you want. That flips down, so you put all your things there. Um, it's equipped and pre-wired, or it's pre-wired, 
for an outdoor observation or backup camera. And that's a good thing. This is a pretty big trailer. Now this one has two slides. One for the bedroom and a big slide for the living room. But let's look at how they've done this. So between the slides are all your connectors. They put a light, so if you show up a little bit late, uh, you still can connect. And you've got all your fresh water, city water, black tank flush, electrical, cable satellite, even an outdoor shower. I mean, technically, you put a little curtain here and shower right out here. It's up to you, of course. So all your connectors in one spot, they do a good job with this. Windows on the side of the slide. Okay, let's go inside. We are inside and let's start out here in the boudoir. Howdy, everybody. Got your nicely laid out bedroom, all your private space too. Nice big windows on the side. Of course, you've got the shades here. Closet there. Hey, I know that guy from somewhere. You have your closet here. Um, nice thing about the way they laid these out. Next to the bed is a USB port and also power. So CPAP machines, charging your readers, all that stuff. It's all possible. All right. Up. There's two doors to the bedroom, as you can see. There's an electric fireplace that does both heat and uh, like a flame look. And it looks really realistic. And it also provides heat, so that's pretty neat. Ah, I just made a rhyme. Here's where you'd put your TV, but there's, notice the little hole here. You can run wires through to the bedroom and have a TV in there too. So all your connectors and plugs, including your HDMI in, and that goes to your stereo, your Furion stereo, and you can watch your movies and such. And of course you get your cabinets. Hey, let's turn on the fireplace to show you how that works. It's pretty slick. See, isn't that neat? Get some warmth, the fire look. Really nice. I like the way Cherokee does their walls. It's a really nice wall pattern. Ooh, I feel the heat of that fireplace. It's nice. And I like the blue LED strips on top. It's a nice night light. <clears throat> or so you have your dinette, your U-shaped dinette that can turn into a bed. You have a couch here and that of course turns into a bed and notice you they even put usb charging station right next to the couch so a lot of little details that they get very very right uh if you have a trailer this large you're going to have a lot of people to feed so plenty of closet space in your pantry nice fridge Even some space above the fridge. Your nuker. You have a Furion stove and oven. And this doubles as counter space when you're not using it as a stove. Look, even tile field backsplash. Solid countertops. The farmhouse sink. The nice high-rise faucet, fill your pasta, bowls and such. Space under the sink, good sized drawers. Here's all your controls for everything. Again, power awning, your slides, all your lighting and those blue lights. And there's a skylight up above, gives it a little bit more open feel. There's good sized drawers under the dinette. And of course, again, you have this big a trailer. There's lots of closet space, so store all your stuff here.
and here's that bathroom. I left the door open. So, hey, me again. You got a bathtub with a skylight so the taller people can stand in the shower. Nice big bathroom sink with more storage, foot flush toilet, direct access to the outside, and a max air fan. Those things move a tremendous amount of air. So if you're boondocking and you don't want to run the air conditioner, those things actually provide a nice breeze. All right, let's go in the boudoir, the second bedroom. We have, this is your bottom bunk, but the headrests flip up and uh, form a couch. So the kids have a place to hang out. Uh, there's also the second bunk up here with a teddy bear mattress. And this bunk here flips up and folds out of the way so they have more headroom. But, you know, they're going to want to bring all their chargeable stuff. And they've thought of that. Plenty of charging chargers here. Everybody gets their own light. LEDs, of course. Another plug. Here's some closet space for all of their things. And the second bunk, upper bunk on this side, they thought of a ladder, air conditioning duct, nice teddy bear mattress. And again, it's 2019. They thought of all the plugs and all that. Here's your connectors if you'd like to put another TV. Again, more USB, more AC outlets. So this is a great place for the youngsters to hang out. Yeah, I did just say youngsters. Okay. Nice big window too. Well, what do you think? Pretty neat, right? Lots of space for people, lots of places for their stuff, an incredible outdoor kitchen and more. So 2019 Cherokee two bedroom bumper pull travel trailer. We have all the information and the specs on our website, which you can see right here. And thank you for watching again. Redwood Empire RVs here in Ukiah, California. That's Northern California. Heart of the wine country. Great place to be starting your RV adventure and has been for the past 12 years. So we appreciate your time watching this. Look forward to seeing you and we're here to answer all of your questions. All of us are avid RVers, so we can help you out. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and happy camping, everybody.